the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This has been a round of the century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with a good one today. I feel like it's fight week. I, I feel like it's fight season. We got a bunch of big fights coming up, and I feel like this is the one that kicks it off. Uh, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share all forms of social media. Please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, uh, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, um, that's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Please like and subscribe. All right, let's get into today's show because it's a good one. Uh, we got Usyk versus Joshua for three quarters of the heavyweight brass. Um, you guys know what my thoughts are, my predictions are on this fight, right? Uh, first, we have Usyk, former undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, who's 2-0, who's looked lackluster. I guess you could say it was two heavyweight fights. They're not great, but, you know, he dominated both lights. One wide stop, Chaz Witherspoon, and then won a wide decision against uh, Chisora. Um, and then we have Joshua, who just beat Pulev, but has been highly inactive because of the pandemic and contract. You know, Joshua can't fight unless there's a big crowd, obviously, for monetary reasons. Um this is going to be at the Hotspurs, something like forty or 60,000 fans sold out in two hours or something. It's going to be a hot fight. It's going to be a lot of people there, um, you know, a, a big, loud crowd. Um, it's a great fight. Um, it's on the zone, so we don't have to pay for it like we have to pay for everything else. So that's good. Uh, please like. And, um, so you know, what do we have here? You know. Usyk's a master boxer, southpaw, angle, speed, combination, punching, agility, dexterity. Like, he's all those things. And what do we have in Joshua? He's a good boxer, really good power, who's slow mechanical, and doesn't know if he fights on the inside or the outside. And I'm not discrediting Joshua. All right, He's a very good heavyweight. He's a good champion. He's good for the sport. He fights everybody. There's no ego with him. Right? He's a great ambassador for boxing. He doesn't get in trouble. Right, He's not in trouble with the law. He's a great ambassador for the sport. That being said, I think he loses nearly every round. Um, he struggled with the speed of uh, Andy Ruiz. Uh, Andy Ruiz, when he wasn't fat, um, when he came in, you know, in, in Andy Ruiz shape the first fight, Stopped them, knocked them out, Joshua. Um, I, I think if you can't handle the speed from Joshua, you get to a, you know, a quicker, faster, more mobile, more agile southpaw with the masterclass skills. I, I just think it's too much for him. I'm really confident that Usyk wins this fight on points. The only saving grace is does Joshua get a ridiculous hometown decision in the UK? Eh, I don't know. Um, but I, I think watching this fight, I don't think there's much. Um, like it's a good fight, you know. It's an undisputed cruiserweight champion, unified heavyweight champion. So it has to happen. You know, it's a great fight on paper. I just think in the ring, I, I think Ustik wins a fairly boring fight. I don't think this is a great entertaining fight. Um, although I think the two fighters are really good. You know, I think Joshua loses to all the top heavyweights. I think he loses to Fury. Obviously, I think Wilder knocks him out. Um, and I, I think. Usyk outboxes them, you know, and it's not a discredit on, on Joshua. It's just that I think those other guys are all better than him. Um, you know, he, he was almost stopped by Klitschko, who's forty some years old, forty years old when they fought. Um, he gets stopped by Ruiz. You know, he can be hit, he can be clipped. He doesn't really. I, I, what's his identity? You know, is is he a boxer on the outside? Is is is, is he a you know jab jab right hand kind of guy? Does he fight on the inside? His uppercut's really good. I don't know how he's going to land it, though, but I think that might could be his only saving grace. His path to victory is either robbery, <laughs> hometown decision, or, or he lands that uppercut at some point. Um, but, you know, U U Usyk, um, again, I'm going to keep picking Usyk as a heavyweight until he loses because he's more skilled than everyone in the division. You know, he's got the punch output. He's got the volume. He can win rounds. Um, 
I think someone's going to have to knock him out in order to beat him. I don't think anyone can beat him on the cards. I don't think anyone can win seven out of 12 rounds with him. Um, but he's got to put it together. And when he gets people hurt, he's got to, he's got to really make him pay. You know, when he stuns somebody, he's got to jump on him and, and keep the pressure on. Um, but I, I'm thinking Usyk by unanimous decision. Um, I, I, I think I'm glad we had the fight. Usyk is the main man for some time. Joshua knows he's had a fight. And I talked to Eddie Hearn after Usyk Witherspoon in, in Chicago. And he said that Usyk could beat any heavyweight in the world. Yes, any heavyweight in the world. Well, Joshua is any heavyweight in the world. Right? He's, any heavy, he's, he's his heavyweight. So that means he thinks that Usyk can beat him. You know, I'm not trying to start controversy, but Usyk is the more skilled fighter. We have two gold medalists from the same Olympics. That's that's entertaining. Like, that's fun. That's a fun storyline. Uh, but I just think Usyk's better. Right? I think Usyk does more things. Usyk, you know, has his path to victory. You know, what's AJ's path to victory? Is he going to outbox him? No, he's not. Right, um, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna knock him out. Uh, well, okay, where you know, he's he better learn an uppercut on the inside because he's skilled in there. Who's skilled in there? You know what I'm saying? He's not. He's a different breed of fighter. You know, he, he moves like a middleweight, but he's a heavyweight. You know, he's but he's not that small. Six three, two twenty. He'll be he's a good size heavyweight. You know, he's smallest for heavyweight. He's not. You know, he's not. So far undersized, where he's at a sizable disadvantage, he'll be fine. Um, so I got Usyk on points. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D boxing quick hits comes out yeah every day. It ten minutes to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, please subscribe to the other channel as well. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, help us get that monetized. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, from Texas, uh, it is September 23rd, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still out in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get him in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.